coming Pythagoras theorem class 7 mathematics we consider right angle triangle one angle is 90 degree look at the diagram angle is B 90 degree 3 4 5 are the sides let us take the addition 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square 9 plus 16 is equal to 25 let us verify LHS is equal to RHS Pythagoras theorem verifies uh, the statement is sum of the squares of two sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse see what happens here consider another triangle 5, 12, 13 are the sides if we take the squares and add them then left hand side and right hand side are matching they are exactly equal so sum of the squares of two adjacent sides is equal to the square of the hypotenuse this is called Pythagoras theorem let us take another example this example x is unknown that is the base consider the triangle P U R find Q R is the base now what happens hypotenuse is given 13 one side is 5 now here we find x 5 square plus x square is equal to 13 square according to Pythagoras theorem so x square becomes 13 square minus 5 square now we will not take the subtraction we will not take the square because there is a very powerful identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square so that is to be written as a plus b into a minus b 13 plus 5 13 minus 5 it becomes 18 into a that is equal to 144 that is equal to 12 square so the base line is q r is equal to 12 so the triangle becomes 5 12 13 this is very powerful application for the Pythagoras theorem consider the rectangle a b c d here the sides are 6 8 upper sides are equal if we consider the display board 8 is equal to 8 6 is equal to 6 now what is the distance between the longest side a c longest side is AC that is the hypotenuse consider 6 square plus 8 square is equal to 10 square take the squares only 36 plus 64 add the squares let us keep aside right hand side 100 is equal to 100 this is called Pythagoras theorem we can find the distance between the points A and C thank you so much